Aphasia affects a person's ability to communicate, not their intelligence. Aphasia etiquette. Ask, wait, listen. We know you're busy, so we'll get straight to task. Page 1, Chapter 1, and the title is Ask. The first points are given, however, it's good to know. Face me when you speak, and you're good to go. Ask me what helps is point number two. With drawing or gestures, I'll give you a clue. Speak slowly and clearly, keeping sentences short, as when I'm translating there's less to distort. Like standing in a queue, that's chapter two. Even though you're late, you still have to wait. Be patient with patience is the point we make. Without interrupting, please wait for my reply. If I still seem confused, then give these a try. Repeat your sentence, or just simply reword. Repeat your sentence, or try to reword. To see if this helped, you'll have to observe writing key words, gestures, or drawings. Based on our research, they're all worth exploring. Last, it's Chapter 3, The Final Mission. Straight after wait, it's time to listen. Check, yes, no responses are reliable as mixing these up is certainly viable. It happens too often, which is most frustrating. Instead of blue, I say shoe, which is so aggravating. Thumbs up or down with a flick of your wrist. Give it go if confusion persists. Write yes, no, I don't understand, so I can answer with a point of my hand. One final point, and then you're set. Repeat after me so you won't forget. Ask, wait, listen. Aphasia etiquette.